Today, I want to cover a few more things that the Bible tells us on living the in Christ life. We're going to look at two passages. The first one is Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, please. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him, and established in the faith, as you've been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Paul says, as you have received Christ, so you have received Christ, what's he telling us now? As you have received Christ, so walk in Him. Walk in Him. Second, he says, rooted. So rooted, be rooted in Him and built up in Him. So we're going to look at these three things. First, walk in Him. The word walk uh, is, is a biblical term. In the Bible, this term walk tell, tells us of being aligned to something. In fact, if you read that verse from the Amplified Bible, the classic edition, so Colossians 2, verse 6, the Amplified Bible. So the Amplified Bible uh, expands certain words uh, in, in English so that we understand what is being said. This is what it says. It says, as you therefore receive Christ, even Jesus the Lord, so walk. Regulate your lives and conduct yourselves in union with and conformity to Him. So what does it mean to walk in Him? It means to regulate your life and to conduct your life out of union with and in conformity to Him. So to live out of Christ, walk in Him, walk in conformity to Him, in union with Him. Who He is, if He'll do it, I'll do it. If He won't do it, I won't do it. So you're living out of your life in Christ. Just as Jesus lived in union with the Father, you and I live in union with Jesus. Every aspect of your life, it's in the Lord. That means you live out of that conformity to Jesus Christ in every aspect of your everyday life. Second, Colossians 2, 7, he says, be rooted in Him. How do you do it practically? Three simple things. Number one, focus on Jesus. Yes, we can listen to the ministers of God who preach and teach us and, you know, who are serving us. That's fine, okay? But your focus is not on him or her. Your focus is on Jesus Christ. Second, develop your relationship with Jesus. Your relationship with Jesus. That you read your Bible. You pray. You spend time in prayer. You spend time in worship. Nobody else can do that for you. And you draw your strength from Him. Because that's what the roots do. They provide the supply. So you're drawing your supply from Jesus Christ. And the third metaphor He uses in that same verse, Colossians 2 verse 7, be root, rooted and built up. In order to understand what Paul is really saying, now Obviously, he's using that imagery of a construction of a building being constructed layer by layer, brick by brick. So it's coming up. But in order to understand what he's exactly talking about, it's always good to look at how the same writer used the same terms in other epistles. So if we can go to Ephesians chapter 4, verses 13 and 15, where the Apostle Paul uses the same term or the same terminology. And this time he says, that we are built up in Him and we grow up in Him in all things to be like Him. And one last thing is abide in Him. If you abide in me, I abide in you. Then you will bear much fruit. So fruitfulness comes from that, from our abiding and staying connected to Jesus. And out of that, His life flows in us and expresses itself through us. So, in closing, why did God 
put us all in Christ. Why did he take you and put you in Christ? Why did he put you and me in Christ? One reason. We are in him to be like him. And I want to challenge each one of us. Let that, let that be our desire. Lord, I want to be like you. I'm in Christ to be like Christ. In every way. Amen.